Hey guys, so today just going to be giving a quick demo of the stock screener that we've been working on and have just uh, recently made available on the website. Uh, you can find it by going to quiverquant.com and then just clicking here on the screener tab at the middle top of the window and you'll arrive here at the overview window. Uh, I'll start by giving sort of a brief rundown and explanation of the overview and performance layers of the stock screener. And from there, I'll explain the social government and insider layers a bit more in depth probably than I do with the overview and uh, performance layers. But uh, I won't go super in depth or try to find any particular stocks or trades using the stock screener today. Uh, I really just wanna, like I said, demonstrate some of the functionalities uh, and also explain some of the columns that might look a bit unfamiliar in the social government and insider layers. So yeah, let's uh, go ahead and get started. So in the overview and uh, performance layers of the stock screener, most of these columns are relatively self-explanatory data. I won't spend too much time going into depth here. Most of these data points are things that you would find on a company's quarterly financial report or maybe a company's balance sheet. Um, as far as functionalities here of this layer, uh, all of the columns can be sorted both top down and bottom up, as you see there, uh, using these buttons that are, or rather arrows that are to the right of the column descriptors. Um, in addition to that, we also have a filters tab over here. Um, and using the filters tab, you can set different financial, performance, social, government, or insider filters. All of the different filters within each one of these dropdowns will of course correlate to the columns that you would see in for instance, the insider layer of the screener or in the government layer of the screener and, and so on. Here's the social layer of the stock screener. Um, I think this is a really good layer of the screener to use if you're maybe interested in gauging general consumer interest in a stock based off perhaps how many followers a company is gaining or losing on Twitter. Um, it's also a really good way of getting a sense of how much retail momentum a stock might be gaining or losing uh, just by looking at how many times it's being discussed on the Reddit forum, Wall Street Bets. It's pretty well known that a good amount of the, the retail momentum that a stock can experience sort of often stems or at least sees a lot of contribution from uh, the Wall Street Bets forum. Here is the government layer of the stock screener. Uh, in the government layer of the stock screener, you'll find congressional volume summed over two periods, uh, corporate lobbying expenditures summed over two periods, and awarded government contracts summed over two periods. Uh, this is all data that can also be found um, on each of their own respective dashboards. We have a congressional trades dashboard, we have a corporate lobbying dashboard, and also a awarded government contracts dashboard. But this is a good spot to find all of that data in one place. Um, the only columns here uh, that may be a bit confusing perhaps might be these two sentiment columns that you see here in the middle of the screener. Um, but they're really actually quite insightful and, and pretty simple to calculate. Uh, for each of the respective stocks that you see to the left, we just take the purchase volume over the period, either three months or a year, and we divide that by the total amount of volume that the stock has seen in the same, same period of time to create sort of a sentiment ratio. The insider or corporate insider layer is the final layer of the stock screener that I'll be discussing today. Uh, in this layer of the screener, you can find corporate insider volume summed across one week, three months, and one year. Uh, as you can see, these insider volume sums are estimated US dollar amounts and are also consisting of both insider purchases and insider sales. Um, so that's why we have these sentiment columns over here to the right. Uh, as you can see, with respect to these sentiment columns, they're calculated identically to the sentiment columns that you see in the government layer of the stock screener um, with respect to congressional sentiment. Similarly to much of the data that can be found in the columns of the government screener, the data that you see here in the insider screener uh, can also be found on its own respective dashboard here called the insider trading dashboard. Uh, however, using the insider screener is a great way to sort through companies with insider volume a little bit quicker, uh, as well as set some of your own filters and parameters, uh, which are things that you can't currently do on the insider dashboard. So that's pretty much all I'll be discussing uh, for today, but uh, please do let me know in the comments if you guys have any questions uh, or suggestions regarding the screener or any other video content that you might like to see. Uh, and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video and have a great day.